Hello, this is Seth Wedding. Welcome to another AFI Hybrid Greatest American Film for this review. Today we're going to do it The Graduate. The film that made Dustin Hoffman's career. The Graduate occupies the seventh position in the 1998 list and the 17th position in the 2007 list. And it came out in 1967, so there's a lot of sevens in this one, triple seven. It's good luck. Um, it's supposed to be a romantic comedy. I didn't find it funny <laughs> or comedy at all. But, you know, I'm looking at it through, like, 50, 70 years, or long time ago, 51. Anyway, long time ago. It's a coming-of-age story, uh, Benjamin Browning. And Benjamin Browning went to Williams College in Williamstown, Massachusetts. He is from Pasadena. Pasadena being where uh, Caltech is, basically. And when he comes home, he doesn't have a any eye in the future. He's just a confused kid, like a lot of us. Well, when we were out of college, I was fortunate because I knew I wanted to go to grad school. But, you know, it's a weird time when you're still a kid and you feel like a kid and you're an adult. And you're a graduate from of college, a college graduate. And... You know, you're just reeling with the punches. And what happens is Benjamin Braddock's dad is a lawyer. And Ben Braddock's dad's partner, another lawyer, has an ex-wife who's kind of indignant in the film. And she decides to deflower or break in Benjamin Braddock. So they... Have an affair, and this movie is famous for uh, the Simon and Garfunkel song, Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Most famous song in that movie. When I saw the first couple of times, I'm thinking this woman is just using this young man, and you know, come here, come here, come here, oh no, go away, go away, no. Just like Michael Dorsey and he used Terry Garr's character in Tootsie. <laughs> There's the connection, just like Woody Allen used Annie Hall or Annie Hall. There's the other connection. It wasn't a comedy for me, you know, because she also tells Ben Braddock, you should go after my daughter, but don't go after my daughter because I don't approve of you, you know. All this mixed messages are just what hangs me up. And I think my view is clouded by the fact that when I saw it, the first time I was a teenager, so I wasn't that much younger than Ben Browning's character, you know. I think that forever colored my view of film. Because now it's supposed to be Ben Browning is, is the jerk, because... He's just careless with feelings and he dumps Mrs. Robinson to go after Elaine, her daughter, and just kind of sleep his way through the family. And I took it as, you know, he got into this relationship with an older woman and he went on to someone more appropriate for his age. And it could be both ways sometimes. Well, when I saw it, there was no, well, I wasn't aware of the term cougar, for instance. And there wasn't a word that I would have known that would uh, label, unfairly label a relationship like that. It would be like me trying to pick up a 20-year-old, 22, you know, I just, you know, they're old, old enough to be my daughter, per se. I'm a really nice guy, but it's not an age difference. You know, I wasn't born in the same decade as they were, and it could be seen as me either helping them or taking advantage of them. Yeah, and again, Benjamin Braddock is not aware 
of his actions. He's like a thoughtless teenager wanting to get together with Miss Robinson and then he flies off to see her daughter just chasing his own libido, I guess. Boy wins mother, boy loses mother, boy wins girl, boy loses girl. It's kind of the same ending as Annie Hall and Tootsie, in which Ben Braddock and Elaine are basically going off toward an uncertain future, and they're not really jazzed about it. To use an old word, <laughs> I mean, you kind of don't have to see the film for the ending, but I think you should see the film because it says a lot about our society and taboos and how we don't really educate our children that well when it comes to relationships and, and how to be a partner, how to be emotionally connected to people instead of being all about the hook all about sex. Basically, I think an app song for this is well, Mrs. Robinson is a good song, but I think another app song for it is you can't always get what you want for any of these films. Maybe it's three films that I've reviewed. You can't always get what you want, and that's just like, I think you should see it. There's an excellent Alpha Romeo Spider in the film. It's just, you know, a complicated relationship. I think it really spawned a comedy, what I think is a true comedy version. Uh, it named American Pie. It was a subplot with Stifler, uh, Stifler's mom and uh, Eddie Kane. I forgot to think, maybe Eddie Kane's um, character always lusting after Stifler's mom. <laughs> I think that's what it's reduced to. And I found that funnier and happier. So if you like this film, like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me uh, whatever you want. I will, I will have another one for you soon. Have a good day.